Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about turbo lag. In this video, I will be explaining the basics of turbo lag and telling you what turbo lag is. Let's get right to it. So turbo lag is basically the lag time between the moment that you request the power from your engine and the moment that your engine actually produces the power, okay? So basically when you go wide open throttle on your gas pedal, when you floor your gas pedal, okay, that is the moment that you request the power from your engine. Now there is a lag time, there is a period of time between when you request it when you floor that gas pedal and when you actually feel the additional power from the turbo that is turbo lag in a nutshell now I'm going to be explaining it a little bit more in depth and giving you uh, a, a little bit of a better idea of what it is and how it comes about so basically a turbocharger is a unit that is powered by your car's exhaust gases so the exhaust gases go into the turbocharger and it spins uh, the exhaust gases cause a turbine wheel to spin and the turbine wheel causes a compression wheel to spin and that spinning of the compression wheel compresses the air in the turbocharger and forces that air into the engine and that compressed air allows your engine to produce some more horsepower and torque, okay? That's basically how a turbocharger works. Now, turbo lag is formed like this. When you floor your gas pedal, okay, you are starting to push more exhaust gases into the turbocharger. Now it takes a little bit of time for those exhaust gases to build up enough pressure in the turbocharger and for the wheels and turbines in the turbocharger to spin and you know produce enough power to get it to your engine. So there is some lag time between when you floor the gas pedal and when the air gets into the turbocharger, starts spinning, starts compressing, goes into your engine and produces more power. Turbo lag is that difference in time, okay? From when you floor it to when you feel that turbo power. Now, that is why on most car on most cars that have a turbo, if you floor it at low RPMs, there won't be enough exhaust gas pressure to produce a lot of turbo power. So if you floor it at low RPMs, you won't feel that much extra power, but then as the RPMs go up a bit, you start feeling the extra horsepower and torque because you have surpassed the turbo lag. You have gotten to the point where the exhaust gases have built up enough pressure in the turbocharger to produce extra horsepower and torque so that's basically a turbo lag is basically is basically the lag time between when you floor the gas pedal and request the extra turbocharger power and you know between that time and when you actually feel the extra horsepower and torque that the turbocharger is producing that is what turbo lag is it's the lag time between when you request the power and when you receive the power it's literally that simple and I hope that you have enjoyed this video. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.